it's final time to make this video, I guess. It's probably not a news anymore that I call myself an asexual, but it wasn't something I was convinced about, or I didn't want to accept it, and I will tell you why. Ciao everybody, I'm your big bro Kanetsu, yare, yare and welcome back to another monologue Thursday, International Sexuality Day Special Edition. I thought it was a good idea to make this video for this day, it has been a long time I wanted to make this and I was waiting to have a better understanding of myself. And last month I was able to gather more knowledge even thanks to the book Ace by Angela Chen. It's a book that I can recommend to anyone, not just a sexual, because it talks about sexuality from a different perspective. Anyway, as a lot of people, the first time I heard about the sexuality was while watching Sex Education on Netflix. Some people are asexual. Mm -hmm. Sex just doesn't do it for some people. Sex doesn't make us whole. And so, how could you ever be broken? It was a small appearance, but I was immediately impressed because before that, I didn't know you could be like this. But I wasn't much interested in knowing more about it. Maybe because I didn't maybe because I didn't really want to admit it to myself. I remember that when I told my friend that I was gay, I have also mentioned asexuality as a cause of not knowing that I was gay. But I was also ashamed of calling myself asexual? That's why I was just calling me great sexual, because I didn't want to be the ace guy. And for a year or a couple of years, I didn't really care much about it. After all, I live a reclusive life and what I am doesn't really matter. Then, at the beginning of the year, I started to talk with some guys and that made me question myself again. So I started to, so I started to search more about the topic and a new world started to open in front of me. But why is it so hard to accept it? Mostly because asexuality is described as a lack of. You don't have sexual attraction or you don't experience it. And missing something, not feeling something is seen as a negative thing. Like you're missing a vital part of human existence. Especially in times like now. And maybe that was one of the reasons I didn't want to call myself like that. But also because of masculinity. As a man, you're expected to be a sexual being, even more so in the gay world. And if I call myself asexual, for some people it may mean that I'm not interested in that, or that I reject that, when for me, sex is just something I'm not looking for. It's not on my radar. I want to do it mostly for curiosity, but I'm not really in a rush. And while reading books like Ace and Loveless, I realized I never tried to understand how the others feel. What we call allosexuals, the people that aren't asexuals. And by looking at the past, I can deny the evidence that I've never felt sexual attraction for anyone. Not one single time. And maybe this explains the feeling that I have always had. The feeling that people were keeping something from me. Some kind of secret that I didn't know. Like I wasn't invited to the meeting that explained how things work. And maybe this is because we think that we share the same experience because we are all human. But in reality, we all have our unique way to feel and experience the world. And even if we can communicate and name a feeling, we still experience that feeling in a similar yet different way from one another. This is why, this is why I always felt that my asexuality was an handicap, because I can't probably match the same desire of the other person in a relationship, even if I still think that it's going to be hard to date for me, I'm not concerned about it for the moment. Then I have also to consider the things that a lot of people argue as a cause of a sexuality, like trauma, because bad stuff happened to me. I have definitely issues with intimacy science, it's never been a part of my life. I also think that I might not experience sexual attraction because being sexual wasn't possible for me, because I was the ugly fat guy that nobody wanted at school. And I don't know if I have automatically removed myself from the game because of that. 
but maybe I was just trying to play the game by imitating others without knowing what I was doing. After all, I was just approaching people that I was never attracted to. So imagine going to a bar and eating on someone because your friends do it and you think you're supposed to do it too. It is pretty hard to get something you have no interest in. That's why I don't think that trauma is a cause of my sexuality and even if it was, it doesn't make my sexuality less valid. Because right now, I'm like this. In a couple of months or next year I might feel differently and there is nothing wrong with that. But then you might ask, how do you know you're gay if you're not attracted to anyone? And that's something that I ask myself sometimes. If you have watched my small video biography, you might know that I've only been with girls and that I kinda only fell in love with them. And I'm probably bisexual or biromantic, but I'm only interested in relationships with men right now. But maybe it's best to explore this in another video. Also, I think that because of my asexuality, I have this fascination with sexualities and such. Because I want to learn about this world, since I don't understand why some people put themselves in some situations and such. I can quote a comment I read on Reddit that explains a lot how I feel. I want to basically be allo. I want to have attraction and I want to have sex. But since I don't have attraction, it confuses me how people get themselves into sexual situations. What I feel is what makes me me and I don't have to force myself, but I want to understand. <laughs> That's a way to summarize things. And a lot of people might tell me, just do it. But it's not that easy. Curiosity for me is not a compelling enough reason to just try. My curiosity is not killing me at night, I never think about it. I also have no doubt that the time will come for me to experience that without the need to chase it. And that's it I guess. Be ace and be proud. We are not broken and we don't need fixing. We just have a different user experience. Leave your comments or questions down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you like me and for more sexual content. Thank you so much for watching and remember that I am proud of you and I believe in you and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!